Mr. and Mrs. Keeler. I'm Dr. Anna Kleister. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. Please sit. I wish I had a good excuse, but uh, it's my adult sense of direction. Please sit. I was out for a run. Well, I got completely turned around, lost. But I'm here now, and I'm so happy to meet you. You didn't bring your daughter. Um, we... She's seen a lot of doctors, and it's always the same bad news. We just didn't want to get her hopes up again. I understand. How did, how did you hear about our daughter's injury? I saw it happen on TV. She was tremendous. She was certain to make history at the Olympics in 2012. And I strongly believe she still can, which is why when they invited me to this conference here in Boulder, I felt it was inevitable. Inevitable? Meant to be. Okay. Payson has a lumbosacral fracture, which up until now they believe to be inoperable. May I stop you? Of course. I have no doubt you're a gifted surgeon and you wouldn't advocate this procedure if you didn't think it would work. That's correct. But Payson isn't unable to walk. She isn't in constant pain. She's healthy and she's able to engage in normal activities and she's... She's a teenager with her whole life ahead of her, so she doesn't need this. This is elective, and there are risks. There are risks in any surgery. There's risk of paralysis. Yes, but it's highly unlikely. And that's the downside. Not acceptable. Besides, even if it did work, could you guarantee that she'd be the same gymnast she was before the injury? The same gymnast? Yeah. We know our daughter. If she came back with all this hope, and she couldn't reach the same level she was before, she would be in constant agony. You guarantee she'd be the same gymnast? Mrs. Keeler, only God can give that guarantee. <sighs> Thank you. Then we're done here. in a wheelchair, that's the fear, isn't it? Well, of course it is. Why else would you give up the thing that you were born for? And why else would the best doctors tell you that Payson's condition is inoperable? What are you saying, that we shouldn't be afraid? Oh, no, you should be very afraid. Payson, would you stand, please? I propose to make two incisions, one here, and one here. I bore into the fracture and inject a cement solution which replaces the bone mass that was lost due to your injury. Well, that sounds perfectly safe. There is a chance, small, that the cement can leak and travel to the lungs. How small? Oh, very. I have developed a device, it's a balloon actually, that I insert into the fracture and it keeps the cement in place and stops it from leaking. I have done more than 100 procedures and had only one failure. Wow. Wait a minute. Let's talk a minute about the failure. Mom, do you hear this? I could do gymnastics again. Isn't that what you're saying? If everything goes well. Then yeah. she could compete again this year. That's great. And when can we schedule this? Well, I'm only in Boulder a couple more days, so we should schedule this. We're not it. scheduling this. But this is my decision. Mark? Payson, your mom's right. It's a family decision. We'll talk about this at home. Thank you, doctor. You have some resistance. It is, of course, understandable. Are there any more questions you have for me? Yeah, just one. Do you have any children? Well, no. No, I don't. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Kleister. Mrs. Keeler, what can I do for you? Isn't there any more you could tell me about this procedure that will help me know it will all work out? 
I could give you all these studies and analyses, but I'm afraid that wouldn't give you what you need. What I need here is faith. I'm trying, but I just don't have it. That's where you're wrong. You seem to have abundant faith that this won't work. You're placing all your faith in a negative outcome. I wish I could help you, but the choice doesn't come from other people. It comes from inside you. I have to go. Okay. Are we ready? <clears throat> yes, we are. We are, right? You betcha. We'll be waiting here for you when you get out. And we'll be there on the sidelines when you go to the Olympics. I love you, Mom. You too, Dad. Thanks for believing in my future.